What is good everybody? Budget Collector here. We have the Infinity War Hulkbuster by Iron Studios. Um, the MSRP I think is 300 I didn't pay that. I was lucky enough to work out a deal. Um, and of course I didn't pay anything. My wife bought it for me for Father's Day. Um, it was something I wanted for weeks. For months. Um, Who am I kidding? And finally we got it really really enjoy it it does weigh a lot just so you know if you start looking at it it is not something you're going to put on a light weak stand but here we go here's the front of the box it shows the hulk buster tells you the scale it's one tenth scale um you know a very good graphic are on that let's spin it around show you a side here we go this is the side of the box again it shows him lunging forward says iron studios down there very nicely the back <coughs> so here we go this is the back of the box it shows once again the Hulkbuster and Cole Obsidian which goes as part of the diorama site which hopefully I will find uh, soon enough and try getting it for a really good price the Cole Obsidian uh, from what I have seen hasn't been going for as much as this one which makes it a lot more palatable to picking it up Let's move right along and check out the statue. So, this right here is the plate for underneath the statue. Matte black on this side and underneath. It shows you right there. The Avengers Hulkbuster by Marble. This was made in China, but Iron Studios is out of Brazil. But look how good this looks. This is just something that you'll never see. It's going to be you know face down but and they still went into the detail and made it look great so there it is out of the package this thing comes as a few different parts these are all magnetic um they stick right in this one too this has a piece that goes into the base and um there's a metal bar it keeps it very sturdy this one's also magnetic so it has a couple pieces, but look at it. This thing is stunning. Let's rotate it a little bit for you. Look at all that detail down there. Anybody who is a big fan of Hulkbuster armor needs this. If you have the spot and the income to justify doing it, or the disposable income to justify doing it, I recommend getting it. Uh, it is stunning. And mind you, this is not like buying one of the statues from Sideshow or Prime where you're spending five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars, maybe even a thousand dollars to get something this size. This right here is really reasonable in my opinion and really highly detailed. Let's get right up in there and take a look at this face. I know I've heard some people say the pose looks a little bit wonky maybe a little bit like a guy screaming for after scoring a touchdown in football or you know American football I should say but with the other piece in front of it it's gonna look even better and out of the box personally I think this thing looks amazing look at that look at all the detail right there you could see the the battle damage going all the way up there isn't a spot that this hasn't been really worked on look at that ready to come smash me or whatever is in his way you gotta love that all the way down look at all the detail right there my dog even likes it every time I bring it down he comes over and starts looking at it he's probably wondering if uh, he has to run because he's about to get Hulk smashed Here's the base of the diorama. And mind you, this is considered a diorama, not just a regular statue. Iron Studios does do a bunch of statues. I could show you some of them some other time. Um, I got a few of them. I really enjoy their work. Eventually, I want to get the Guardians of the Galaxy set, um, but the obelisk is very, very hard to find. I can find everything else but that. Look at that. Look up in there. This is freaking amazing. 
like I said, if you got the ability to first off find one and find one for a reasonable price, if you are a collector and, and like me really enjoy the Hulkbuster, you gotta get this. Look at that. It's freaking stunning. Me, I want to set up um, a light right about here where I'm going to put it as a permanent display next um, and have that light shining through so you'll see it. I can't quite do that yet. We're hopefully going to be in the process of moving to a bigger place, which means more videos and more room to get stuff. We're running a little low on room, so that means we got to buy a house. But look at that. Even up into the back. This thing is stunning. That's the foot. Like. How do you not purchase this? Down there. All the way up. Let's see. Sorry if that's a little shoddy, but kind of doing this alone I don't have my normal camera woman it's a little late it's like four or five in the morning and she probably wants to kill me as it is because I'm keeping her awake but even down there look at all the colors down here like I said the only spots that look a little cheesy this grass didn't come out too great it could have been done a little better but if that's my complaint right there that's my complaint on a statue at this price. <laughs> Take it and be happy. Because that is just about no complaint. Let me get another shot for you guys. One second. Okay, so just want to do one more little quick spin around. Showed you the details, the battle damage everywhere. Showed you how good the diorama looks in general down here. Now, if you think the Call of City in one has a very similar base that looks great right next to it. Um, at first, I know you might think this pose is a little off, maybe a little different, but it looks really good in person. And this thing is just full of detail. So, if you like it, let me know why. If you hate this, tell me, tell me why you hate it. Thank you again so much. This is the Budget Collector Review, little showing of the Hulkbuster by Iron Studios. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I got a brand new intro coming. My man, Collector Sam, knocked it out of the park with this. I know you guys are gonna be bobbing your head to this one very soon, so make sure you keep looking out for that. Um, special shout out to him for that. Thank you everyone, and peace. Wanted to give a special thanks and shout out to two people. Um, Big Dub and Josh Pence. I know Josh Pence is taking a little time off of doing some videos right now. He's doing some live stream. But watching them got me willing to put myself out there and start doing these videos. And the collecting and all that. Seeing that other people are doing it made me feel comfortable about letting everybody know what I collect and what I enjoy. And some of my passions with different things. So I want to give a special shout out to them. Thank you so much. And Big Dub really helped me out with this statue. I was on the fence, wanted it, but just didn't know if it was definitely going to be worth spending close to $300 on or over $300 if I had to pay what they originally wanted. And um, he told me how good it was and that it was going to be well worth my purchase. And I've had some other Iron Studio stuff, which I've always liked. And finally, hearing that, and seeing some other stuff online, I had to jump on it. So thank you, Josh Pence. Thank you, Big Dub. Very, very appreciative for all the videos you guys do. Um, a little special squeeze it to him. You know that. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. The Collective crew is growing every day. We got my main man, Collector Sam. We got Little T and we got me, Nick the Collector. So... You know, we're going to keep collecting on a budget, finding great stuff, letting you know where to go, unboxing cards, toys, statues, going to move, movies, giving you reviews. Just keep watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I know I'm drilling it into your head, but I'm trying to grow. Peace! Collect them figs. Peace!